What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because it is Monday morning. And we usually don't like Monday mornings. I feel like most people don't like Mondays. But in Rush Royale, we love them. Or at least I love them. Because this is going to be the first time we are looking at the new faction booster for this week. Technically, you can check it out on Sunday. Technically, you can. I haven't been. I haven't been for a long time now because I like to look at it and figure it out and find out at the same time as you find people. So let's hop on over here determining this week's faction booster. And I'm super excited because it's the beginning of the season still. We're not pushing a ton right now. Uh, so it opens up a world of possibilities on what we can play. We're not going to be stuck to one deck. We're not going to just play in quiz. We're going to try our best not to play in quiz. Forest Alliance. Okay, let me let me talk talk through what I'm looking at here. Forest Alliance. We've got Rogue. We've got Hunter. Ivy's decent. Boreas is interesting. Dryad Summoner, as well as Pretzel Thrower. Okay, okay. We've got some interesting uh, units that we can use, and we also have Slug Rush. Merging units in this faction summons a slug to your opponent's side. Uh, interesting, 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 because I don't know if Slug Rush necessarily is going to be all that terrific, but I'm wondering if we can create a deck to make it pretty solid. So let's create a deck and see what we can do. All right, we got a deck here and let's get it going. We're going up against Witch right off the bat, but we are rocking the dreaded Rogue Hex, okay? Uh, I think typically I would be rocking this deck with a Scrapper in here, perhaps. Uh, I did think about running Demonologist, because Demonologist is kind of similar to, uh, to Slugs, and it could be kind of like double damage, double duo, double trouble, whatever you want to say. Um, I just don't think Slugs or Demonologist is just going to be that effective in this game. In this, I don't know, against these decks, I just really don't see it. So, we're going to be trying out Rogue Hex with Summoner, uh, Dryad, as well as Harlequin, okay? So, Rogue, Dryad, and Summoner are all part of the Faction Booster, so if I ever combine them like I just did, it will do a little bit of a slug on their side, which should be pretty cool. And uh, if we can get a couple of Rogues, hopefully a couple of Shinobis, with a Hex out there, I think we should be in a pretty decent spot going forward but guys if you are enjoying this video make sure that you are subscribed to the channel like the video and also share the channel with your friends if you think they would enjoy the content share it with them you can help it helps us grow our rush royale community and it also enables me to continue making the videos that you and hopefully your friends enjoy so much so 40 seconds here we're obviously not doing all that hot but uh, you know it could be you know, it could be worse let's just do that right there i'm gonna do that right there we're probably gonna get switched by uh bedlam i'm assuming that will make it to bedlam first we're just gonna do a little bit of that uh, 20 seconds. I just need to level up this guy and we'll be fine. Uh, if you guys know how to play Rogue, you'll understand. Alright, let's just do that. So that should bring us back pretty much all the way to our portal. He's gonna do that. I'm gonna combine that out. That's fine. And, uh, actually, I probably should have just left it alone. Because if we do get switched by Bedlam, I don't really want to get switched by Bedlam. But if we do, it's not the end of the world. I could have copied a Rogue right there. And, uh, it would have gotten rid of the buffs. So... Uh, as long as we're in a position to where we're taking monsters out decently well, I don't want to make a ton of plays. He's got Witch in there. I just want to avoid Witch as much as possible. So, uh, for our board right now, the good thing about our board right now is we've got a bunch of rank 1 normal rogues, which is not at all what you want on your board, okay? And you might say, how is that a good thing? Well, if he comes down with his Witch and hits one of those units... I will be more than happy to combine them out. We've actually got Bedlam coming up again right there. Uh, so that should be a little bit interesting. All right, so we're going to do that right there. I'm going to have to combine those out. That's going to trigger that, which is great. Another Rogue over there is not ideal. I'm going to combine these guys out just because I can. I'm going to copy another one of those. It's not a Rogue. It's not a Shinobi, but that's all right. We don't currently have any Hexes, but he looks like he's having a little bit of a tough time. Going to combine those out right there. 
He's going to hit that right there. I'm going to combine those out right there. I'm going to copy that right there. We got a Shinobi right there, which is amazing. He's having loads and loads and loads and loads of trouble. Uh, 30 seconds. I'm going to just try and push the issue a little bit and um, keep the pressure on him. I can trigger that, that Shinobi again right there. I guess we'll level up 20 seconds. Let's do that also. Uh, he hit that guy right there, but he's definitely going to get switched by Bedlam. That's unfortunate that that guy got, that guy got hit, so I'm going to have to combine those out. But uh, we're going to see what else we can do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Level up these guys right here. Oh, I wish he was taking a hit. That would have been so good. I'll combine those guys out. We got another rogue right there. Hit our gadget. Oh, 1.3 to go through, I think, that I saw. We should be able to go through that. Bedlam, no problem. We haven't found a single hex. And I'm assuming he's going to be spamming witches at me left and right. Hopefully not so much that we have trouble. Hmm. He's got a rank 5 demo, two rank 5 demos. Ooh, the fact that he stopped that, maybe he'll get switched again. Ooh, he's still got a rank 5. Take a hit, please. Take a hit. Okay. He took a hit. That's the good news. The bad news is our board looks uh, pretty cheeks. Pretty cheeks. We can level this guy up a couple of times. But we got to make it through this wave. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. As soon as I see a mini boss, I'm going to level up this guy because it'll trigger this guy as well. Uh, we should be in a better place than him at least. Let's do that. Okay. Let's try and get another rogue that can trigger. Beautiful right there. I'm going to combine those out. Another one right there that's so huge. And, uh, and I think that should be the game. Did we even get a hex this entire game? I'm just going to do that. Trigger all those guys. I'm going to do that as well. Trigger all those guys. Uh, 35 seconds. We might even have a chance to take out Tribunal before it hits us just because we have that ability to buff our rogues that quickly, okay? So 24 seconds. I'm not really going to do a whole lot here. I might just do that because I'm digging for a rank one uh, thing. It doesn't matter. There is a GG. Hit him with a good game. This deck actually did pretty well, and Hex was beyond irrelevant. That was pretty funny. Let's just jump into another game here and see if maybe Hex can do a little bit more in the next game. But guys, if you want to catch me live, we do live stream. We live stream exclusively on Twitch. It's just twitch.tv slash game by the beach. We'd absolutely love to have you guys be there because you can play with me, play against me, challenge me, ask me to play a specific deck. If you guys need help with dungeons, Either I can help you out with dungeons or somebody uh, in chat can help you out as well. 2,000 crit. Ooh, he's doing... Is this... This This isn't an all-forest deck. It is a Wi-Fi bars, though. Holy Wi-Fi bars, Batman. I don't know. Uh, okay, here we go. It honestly looks like a bot. I, I don't know. It, this deck is so wild, it looks like a bot. And the thing is about playing against bots is they play weird decks... They usually have decent cards, decent crit, and they make decks work that don't work. Like, for the cards, the units that they use uh, work just better than they actually do, but because it's a bot, I don't know if you guys have ever realized that, but it's crazy. All right, let's just keep spamming. We've got some summoners. I guess we'll do a couple summoners, even though... You know what? Not, the more that I think about it, I feel like Summoner's not a great idea to have in this deck. But uh, <laughs> you think I'm going to change it now? No, sir. So let's just keep on pushing here. We're just going to keep on going. We've got a couple of rogues right there. we got this guy we can activate if we need to. I'm just going to come down there right quick. Uh, might as well combine these out. Tribunal, take your time. Take your time. I'm going to copy this. 53 seconds. I like playing Rogue because it actually, it almost feels like playing Meteor. You have to be so patient when playing this. And it's almost scary. These units, it's 40 seconds left in this wave. The, we're clearly not killing things very fast. The monsters are midway on our board. But as long as you actually understand how to play max talent Rogue, I know I can make it back to the beginning of my board. And since it's Tribunal, I guess I'll try to just, like, make my board as minimal as possible. So maybe I'll just, uh, I don't know, copy a couple more of these. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to level up just the mouse. I mean, tell me that's not crazy. 
The mouse is the second ascended. Is it the second? It's either the first or the second ascended uh, version of Rogue. And in merging those, ooh, I'll just do that. I'll do that. I don't know. I just wanted to get fewer on my board. Okay. Uh, if you upgrade your mouse, which is so funny to say. I don't know. It's just so weird. Upgrade your mouse. It will trigger the smoke, which connects all rogues that are touching that one you just upgraded. And they'll all do increased damage, increased attack speed, increased everything. Uh, if you upgrade the next ascended rogue, which is the bird looking one, it doesn't do that. You can upgrade it and nothing actually happens. It just, you know, does more damage like a normal unit would. So it's just understanding how they do. Rogue, every, or the, uh, sorry, Shinobi every 20 seconds will trigger... But it will also trigger if you level it up. So we got a mouse down here. It can trigger this this guy right there. Uh, another tribunal is a little bit interesting, but uh, not the end of the world. We'll just do that right there. Rogue right there is not great, or uh, hex right there rather is not great. But let's just keep leveling up some of our units. I'm gonna do. Let's just do that for right now. I'm probably going to have to do another one, if not more. 35 seconds. I'll do this. You see right there, made this guy get a boost. So good. It's so good. As, as long as you know how to play it, it's so good. But late game, Rogue often falls off. And that's why Hex is so important to have in your deck, because it'll enable you to just thin the herd of the waves, which makes it possible for you to take out uh, bosses... Uh, later on I'm gonna hit that right there let's see anything else I can do four seconds we're right in the front of our portal which is great uh, I leveled that guy up I was hoping to try and take out all that stuff we might be able to take out tribunal Ooh, it was super close but actually getting hit by tribunal is not the end of the world because it makes it so my units are a lower level so for those units that need to get uh, activated by ranking up it's going to be easier because they're a lower level. So I'm okay with that. Puppeteer is next. We've got a bunch of units here. It's just uh, we don't have any Shinobis, that's all. Hmm. Let's do a little bit of... Mm, I'll do that for now. Trigger a couple of those guys. I might just combine these out for the time being. Let's do that. Still digging for our first Shinobi. Uh, let's combine these guys out. I want to combine those out. Ooh, I don't want to combine those out. Can I take that back? All right, let's do that. We got Rogue. I'm going to level this guy up. We've still got a number of Dryads that we can use. You can see right here, we're starting to spam a little bit uh, to try and push the issue. We're going to get our Hex up. Puppeteer's next. 23 seconds. I'm going to have to combine out one way or another. So we're going to level that guy up. Uh, for right now, let's actually wait. Let's wait 15 seconds. We're doing some pretty good damage. I'm going to come down here to activate them one more time. And uh, that should hopefully make it so we can make it to the wave without too much of a fall off. You can see right there, we already fell off right there. We should have been at 243. We got to 587. But we should be able to take this guy out reasonably fast. I don't care if it moves me around. I would rather, I would prefer that it doesn't make rank me down. But I don't care that it moves us around. Uh, gonna hit my gadget right there. We're still working on that. This wave may be the wave that we want to start merging some units and... Uh, trying to utilize the slugs a little bit i'm gonna do that right there i'm gonna come down here copy that right there still haven't found a shinobi still haven't found a shinobi i'm gonna come over here if i if it allows me there we go let's do that that's not ideal we're gonna come down here we're kind of ruining our board but what are we gonna do we, we don't have a whole lot of plays so we're just gonna do that we're gonna do that we're gonna come down here Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go right there. We're going to come up here. We're going to try and get a Shinobi. We're going to come over here. We still haven't found a Shinobi. We're going to copy that. We're going to do that. That's still not a Shinobi. We're going to do that. Something triggered, which is good. Uh, can I level up anything at the moment? I'm going to hit my gadget. Not really. Two seconds. Warlock. 
We fell off a lot right there. That was very, very bad. Five million to go through. Take some units off my board. It would honestly be good to take some units off my board. I don't have anything to level up. I guess I could do that. Three mil. Let's do that. It's just going to push the issue a little bit. But uh, I think, I, I certainly think we're going to take a hit here. And I don't see us winning this game. I'm going to be honest. I don't see us winning this game even though he may or may not be a bot. He's just got slow and stun and all that stuff. He's not even killing anything, but we're killing things even slower. Let's do that. Still haven't found a rogue. Still haven't found a rogue. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What else can we do? Nothing, really. I guess we can level up this guy. Try to get something. Two mil. Oh, I forgot about us merging things. Is he going to take a hit here? Do we have our gadget active ability? Now we will. No, he's going he's gonna to take it out anyway. Ooh, but it is Warlock. Maybe we did a lot of damage. He's got Bombardier and a high-level Cold Mage. This guy is definitely a bot. <laughs> um, Hex, do your thing, dude. Hex can carry us to the victory, maybe. I'm going to level up one of these guys at some point. I'm going to do it right now. We got to go through a Bannerlord first. Okay. Now we're begging for mice. It's such a weird sentence, but it makes sense if you know. If you know, you know. All right. We're going to have to do something. Come on, Hex. Go through all this stuff. Where is the stuff? 25 seconds, please. I'm losing to a bot. Come on, Hex. Trigger one time, Hex. Trigger one time. No chance this guy is a real person. Check out his equipment. Nothing. Uh, 2,000 crit. Tw level 12 bruiser. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. I don't think I've ever seen a level 12 bruiser because nobody levels him up. Uh, that was a little bit unfortunate. How did our hex do? 2.5 million? Miserable. Miserable, 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 miserable. I can't even speak it. Why don't we jump into one more game here? See if we can find a real win. Come on, 15. We're going up against Witch again. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we're going to spam right here. We didn't find a single Shinobi. Biggest problem with playing Rogue is that they nerfed him. So you have a less chance of getting the max talent. I'm not going to go into it a whole bunch because I got into it recently on, on stream. But the whole point of maxing him out is so you're able to get Shinobi. And then you nerf the chant. They didn't nerf the Shinobi. Here's a Shinobi. Beautiful. Um, but we have Witch, so we're going to have to get rid of him very soon. Uh, they didn't nerf the Shinobi. They nerfed the chance of you even getting the Shinobi. Which is wild to me. Which is quite wild to me. But okay, we've got one. That's huge. I'd rather this guy had Shaman so I could try to protect... But there's nothing we can really do about it. We're just going to copy a couple of these guys just to ensure that we're doing okay. All right. Here we go, guys. I'm really curious. What are you playing for this week? Are you utilizing the faction boost? Are you just trying? The other way you could do it, and we might talk about this a little bit in tomorrow's video, is uh, instead of trying to play a deck that utilizes slugs, you could play a deck that uh, counters slugs. So one that has just a high area damage um, high, as high area damage, period. That's the end of the sentence, right? You could have, you know, have Bombardier in there, have Cold Mage in there, something like that. I'm going to combine those out right there. guess we're going to do this. We're going to do that as well. I'll just combine these out for the time being. I'll copy one of those guys. Maybe that's not the right thing. Let's start leveling up our guys. As soon as we start playing against uh, I, I know that rogue doesn't matter, or um, if a hex gets hit by witch, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to combine it down anyway. We're going to have to play this totally, totally different, but I still think we've got a decent chance of winning this. As long as we can get a hex kind of going and build some things around it, maybe that's what we were missing, is just like a good high-level hex in the middle of our board to just aid our struggle, you know, or not, maybe not aid our struggle, aid our attack i don't know right maybe that would be pretty good because which doesn't matter on hex obviously okay that was pretty good i think our board's solid right here i think our board's solid tribunal's gonna be a little bit unfortunate i'm gonna have to uh combine these guys out okay we've got another hex right yeah let's just do that i'm gonna combine all these out we got another i'm gonna do this as well just to get a couple of units next to this shinobi we have two shinobis right now we've been very lucky 
We've got two Shinobis, and none of them, neither of them, have gotten hit by... Uh, have gotten hit by a witch quite yet. Knock on wood. Do I have wood anywhere near me? There's wood on the glasses, maybe. All right. Keeping our board full. It's unfortunate, right? Because we got Tribunal coming up. But we want to keep our, our board full as much as we can to try and combat witch. But we're also going to want to eliminate a bunch of units on our board to combat Tribunal. So a little bit of a sticky situation here. But it is what it is. I'm going to level this guy up to see if I can get a unit next to him. So now we're going to get a little bit of extra benefit to, um, to when the Shinobi triggers. So right there, now both of them are triggering. That's super good. I'm going to level up. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's just let that happen. That's good. I'm going to level up this Shinobi also to try and push the issue. We can level this guy up too because that would be good to, to kind of help us in our struggle here. But let's just wait because I think Shinobi is going to trigger again. There we go. We don't want to level it. You, you got to level it up at the right time. You don't want to level it up too early when uh, it would be triggering anyway. So I think this is actually going to time out pretty well. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hopefully our Shinobis trigger. Ooh, that was pretty cool. All right, spam, spam, spam right away because we want to make sure that... Uh, which has a lot of targets to hit. A lot of chances to hit different stuff. And I think we're going to sit on this board for a little while. Let's just copy. Actually, we'll just wait. We'll literally just wait. Because with this board, if a Witch comes down and hits one of my Harlequins, if I copy anything, if I make it into a Rogue, I make it into a Dryad, I make it into a summer, Summoner, the, uh, the debuff goes away right away. The Witch's debuff goes away right away. So... It's good to just have those sit right there. And again, look at this, 45 seconds, and it looks like we're just falling off the face of the earth, but then we're working back. It's almost like Bruiser. It's pretty funny. Uh, I'm just going to level up this guy just to try and do a little bit extra damage. We got our bird over there as well. Spam a little bit here. I'm going to combine out here. We've got so many rogues that I would think we're in a pretty good spot. I still haven't really seen Hex do anything. Did they change the animation or something because I feel like it really hasn't triggered at all. I'm going up there immediately. Uh, I'm going to come over here immediately. Let's do, I'm going to do this six seconds. Really try and work back towards our portal. Another Shinobi is amazing. All the way back, Assassin, he's taking things out pretty quickly. I'm, I'm wondering if, uh, if his Demon Hunter, I don't think, I usually guess if they're playing Demon Hunter Witch, I usually guess that their Demon Hunter is level 9. This guy's doing a lot of damage right now. If I had to guess, I'd say his is a level 11. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so we're going to come down there right away. That's a little bit unfortunate. 47 seconds, that's okay. I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Should be able to work back a little bit. We're going to go there. We're going to have to combine those out, so I'm going to do that right off the bat. Um, I'm going to copy a couple of these. Just wait for something. This guy's touching a lot of things, so 26 seconds. I'm going to level him up right there. Copy that out right there. Ooh, another one. Come on. Oh, another one. Come on. 19 seconds. Shinobis. All my Shinobis trigger, please. We got one, two, three, four, five. We've got so many Shinobis all around a thing. I'm going to take a screenshot right there because our board looks crazy. Seven seconds. Warlock, we need another Shinobi to trigger. We need another one. Four seconds. Come on. Another one trigger. There we go. One second. Come on. All right, let's hit our gadget when we can. 1.1 to go through. The good news is he's at least... Oh, we're going to take it out, no problem. The good news is he's at least going to take a hit. I think that hit a Demon Hunter. The more hits he has, the better for us. 2.5. He's spamming. He's going to have another Witch coming our way pretty soon. Here it comes. It's that guy. That doesn't matter at all to me. I'm going to combine out here as well. Another Hex is fine. And we've got a rank 1 Dryad. Oh, hit him one more time and take a hit. Or do none, or do neither, either one. You know, you could ha take a hit, hit him one more time, or do none of the, none, no such thing. Do no such thing. Another witch coming our way. I think I'm going to just let that happen because it's still going to trigger periodically, which makes all my other ones do a lot of damage. So in that regard, Rogue is actually pretty solid. Shinobi's pretty solid when going up against, oh, he got to 40. Wow. He got to 40. I'm going to level that guy up. 
He still hasn't taken a hit, so this is actually very, very scary. We don't have our active ability currently um, to go with, with Gadget either. 24 seconds, 22 seconds. I'm really hoping we can make this happen. We need our Rogue to trigger a bunch of times. Trigger, baby, trigger. Come on. We've got smoke. We've got spikes. We've got so much. Can we go through this vortex? Can he go through this vortex? Five seconds. There is a hit, and there is a victory. Hit him with a good game. Level eight. Oh, I was so wrong. Maybe that just speaks to how low the damage rogue does but pretty close game right there we made it happen that is way more fun to play when you have shinobi spamming away you got a bunch of them on your board they're all doing different things that is so much more fun to play than when you're playing and you just can't find a shinobi i think they should adjust that again when they nerfed rogue it was also when they nerfed hunter because those two were in a really powerful deck back then that deck has completely fallen off the face of the earth i think they should buff rogue a little bit more again and uh, and get him out there because it is a really cool card and with the talents it makes it even cooler but guys that is going to be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video